Hi, this is Michelle Adams with the Law Office of Michelle Adams. And bear with me for a minute as it, what I'm going to say may sound a little morbid, but have you ever walked through a graveyard? A not like, you know, scary movie kind of walk through a graveyard, but maybe you were visiting the site of a loved one or you were at a funeral service. I know when that situation has happened for me, I'm always curious about, you know, some of the people who are there and I might read the headstone or the marker to find out, you know, a little bit more about when the person was born and when the person um, died. And if it was a short period of time, you just often wonder what the story was behind that. Or if it's a long period of time, you think about, wow, this person must have uh, led a really full life. And the reason why this is coming to mind is I was talking to a client and you know we were going through the conversation of whether they wanted to be buried or cremated or composted. And I just thought with so many people now doing something other than burial, is there some history that's somehow being lost? Because for people who are being cremated, as an example, there may not be a marker of some sort that captures the life of that individual. Definitely not for someone who chooses to be composted. And yes, composting is a thing, at least here in the state of Colorado. And so it just had me thinking about, again, whether or not there was some aspect of historical relevance that we were missing out on as a result of people no longer having a headstone or something else that symbolizes the lifespan of that individual. And of course, it does not take away from the fact that we have memories of individuals. If, if you choose to be cremated, you know, that is, you know, oftentimes people will keep an urn or some other symbol that represents the, the ashes of their loved one. But again, it, there's something about when you look at a graveyard and you see that, that um, all of those symbols and you read that information, but believe it or not, or like it or not, a lot of people are not getting buried. So all of that to say is, I wonder what your thoughts are about this. Is just this just the random musings of someone who talks a lot about this topic? Or is this something that you may have thought about or you're thinking about like, hmm, maybe she's right about that. And it's not about whether you're choosing to be buried or cremated, but it's just a thought about what is now kind of like the shift that's happening and is there some kind of hit part of history that's either being uh, negated or excluded because we don't have this moment anymore in terms of something that marks the lifespan of an individual. So curious to hear your thoughts, please leave them below. This is Michelle Adams with the Law Office of Michelle Adams and until the next time, be well.